what's going on everybody I hope everybody's having an awesome day today we're gonna to be talking about Findes Findes for those of you that do not know what it is uh, Findes is a very useful and free program that you can use to actually find stocks to trade because for uh, you know day traders or swing traders or even long-term investors we have to have some type of scanning ability because we want to find stocks that meet our criteria stocks that we either see value in or stocks that we think are overbought or oversold so we can make trades on them and we're going to be talking about how to do that in uh, so Findes is a free scanning service that we can use whoops sorry that we can use to actually find stocks to trade so uh, all you got to do guys is just, is just go on findes.com uh, it's right here and it'll it'll pop right up and once you pop it right up so we're gonna be talking about how to find stocks to actually swing swing trade so swing trade is when you hold a stock for more than a day but less than a year when you start getting into over uh, that year you know sort of uh, trade it kind of turns into a long-term investment so it is just not the best but uh all right so the first thing so this is a hundred percent my you know point of view my opinion so you guys can obviously um, you know do what you want and take out things you know this is just my opinion so once you log in or once you uh, actually just go on the website you won't have to log in they do offer uh, real-time data because this is all delayed 20 minutes I believe uh, maybe 10 but uh yeah so right down here we'll have the popular and most pretty much the most active stocks for the day so and that's everything from stock gainers stocks that hit new highs overbought unusual volume Upgrades, earnings, before insider buying, uh, and then on the opposite side is the exact opposite. So top losers, new low, oversold, most volatile, most active, downgrades, and earnings after inside selling. And then another very important feature is the signal right here. So you can see the stock's going up, um, you know, just consolidating down, uh, double topped or and then uh, here we have trend lines so once you log in we're gonna be talking about swing trading for the long side or buying uh, you know buying in hopes of getting a higher return out of it so the first thing that I always like to do is I like to go to groups and it's under this little menu tab here so we can see um, stocks that have the best day performance week and month so what I always like to do is just take a quick note so we see utilities technology healthcare top three on the day so I just like to make a little a little note so utilities tech healthcare for the daily healthcare and then on the weekly this isn't the other very important one utilities so we know utilities is probably the most popular um, industry goods let's see what it was on the day um, zero so it's just pretty much a break-even day which is fine and then tech so we know pretty much utilities and tech are the top two all right so I like to keep keep track of that and then you know we have the month down here but uh, so I would just like to do day and day in the week you guys are more than welcome to do the week as well and they also have all the way up to uh, year-to-date performance so yeah all right so the next thing that I always like to do is just go to uh, screener so this is where you're actually gonna be finding stocks so here there's the descriptive fundamental and technical so what I always like to do is just kind of do all so once you click all so it puts all three in one so you don't gotta keep clicking in and out of these tabs so the next thing guys is going to the price now this is a hundred percent up to you I always like to find stocks pretty much anywhere under 10 or under 20 or 15. Let's just go under 20. So now we have 3,353 stocks that meet that criteria. 
So the next thing that I always like to do is go to average volume. Now this is uh, pretty much we want stocks with volume. Volume pushes the price. So if there's no volume, you know the stock will most likely um, not not do so hot. So anything over five hundred thousand always works. So now drop that down, kind of split it more than half. So now it's eight hundred and seventy-eight. So now we have uh, a couple more here. So relative volume, anything over um, 0 0.5, 0 0.75 is pretty decent. So let's just go over 0 0.5. So that dropped it to 614. Now we have pattern. Now this is just the pattern of the stock. So we want to channel up. So this is just stock that has had uh, past, um, you know, past history of just going up. You'll see what I mean. Uh, more uh, here in a sec so the total is down to 16 now this is where we go back to the sector the now this is everything so that's first let's look at utilities let's see what so nothing came up under utilities so let's go to tech let's see if anything comes across I always like to do this see boom we have a couple stocks here now just by judging um, this one uh, QNST probably some sort of news. Let's pull up the chart. All right, QNST hitting off uh, recent support or yeah, recent resistance. Maybe some sort of news selling off, um, setting some alert here in a minute. All right, let's see. So now this is just a a very important. Um, tool you know so VIV th that's one we're gonna look at here let's pull it up so we're gonna pull it up on the thinkorswim platform so it's VIV all right so let's change the uh, let's change the time frame let's go to either 20 day or 180 let's go to 180 and let's change um, this to unlink all right so VIV all right, let's pull it up. All right, so the first thing I always like to do is make sure it's above the 200 moving average line, which it is. So it looks, it looks pretty strong. And then I like to look uh, to see where it has, you know, tapped and used uh, resistant points. So it looks like it has recently used this. Uh, this is the. 90 day moving average line right here you see how it comes taps it once taps it twice taps it three times so now we should get a bounce off this to a possible push back up to 1360 so this one is a stock that I actually see some some sort of potential and so I like to keep note VIV um, so if let's say we looked at uh, taking a trade on this all right so if let's say we went long here at 12 um, 12 you know or I can't even see 1276 we would have resistance at 1296 that would be the first 1297 so pretty much the break of the break of 13 would probably be best if we can break through 13 then we could possibly get a run the next resistance here would be right here at 1327 and then 1360 so what I will do is I'm going to set an alert at 1301 um, so now this alert is going to be uh, just a confirmation so as this stock bounces up now I know once it breaks over this it will use this nine moving average as support and push it all the way up. That's what we want. See, each time that it's at, that it's broke it, guys. So it's tapped this 90, which it has, and once it broke over, either even here, once it broke over, we still got a huge spread all the way up. And then also, as it broke through here, ran up. And which is nice I know that 
it recently hit this uh, nine or nine ninety moving average line in the back, so we should get some sort of pop back up uh, for the next couple of days. So it broke above these, broke above this. All right, so VIV looking good. All right, so let's pull up, let's pull back Findes. Let's see, let's see what else. So pretty much what I always do is. I like to just go through everything, you know. So technology has been hot. Um, healthcare was one that was hot. All right. So you always get some ads. Um, so maybe CRMD. Let's pull it up. CRMD. CRMD, pull it up. Alrighty. This one looks pretty strong here. One, one thing that I don't like about it is it pretty much like it it, it looks like it is maybe a, some sort of former runner here, which you know doesn't look too promising. Um, it is coming across some recent resistance lines. It looks like I have actually traded this one in the past because I did add this um, resistant level. Hmm. Interesting. So the only thing that is interesting here is maybe for the break of 205 to 206, we could get a push back up to 245, but you know for that I would like to have some sort of catalyst maybe some maybe some news um, to get that volume in there it's just the reason why it's 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 uh, it, it's it's cheaper you know it has pretty larger spreads than the past uh, stock VIV it just it just it likes to run and it likes to dump so I, right now we're in this pretty much this consolidation zone where it's just slowly um, creeping up it's you know if you just mark out the lows here so there's a trend line there maybe here you know so yeah realistically it should pop up uh, for the break of two two should hold support and then it should break 207 and run. That's that's realistically what I'm looking at. So to that, I mean, we could set an alert here for let's say 207, just to see. I'm not telling you I'm gonna buy this one, uh, just because I do not like how it how it runs and then dumps, runs, and then sells off. But it has a uh, slowly making uh, higher lows, which is interesting. That's the only thing. Let's let's see if there's a longer chart. Let's see. It's going three years. Okay, now this right here is a lot more interesting. So we see it is over 200 moving average line. It's above all of this. Yeah, like I'm saying, I mean there is probably room to 20, you know, 250 at most. Um, that's, that's a pretty hard resistance right here. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, there's room, uh, for sure. If it breaks over that, then there's room to, you know, $3 and to 5 But, yeah, this, this one's, this one's interesting. That's for sure. Um, let's, let's pull up one more for you guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, that one's a little overextended. That one, this one will sell off. Uh, all right, let's let's do let's do any. Let's let's find something good. I mean, VIV looks pretty pretty good. Uh, I just like to. Mm, mm, you know it. This one, this one will sell off. Yeah coming across resistance we're just looking for stocks that are at support um, that have recently showed some sort 
you know, pretty anything that looks interesting. Anything that looks interesting, guys. You know, the only one maybe AU. Let's pull it up. Let's see what it looks like. AU. Yeah. Uh, over 200 moving average line. He could have made a good trade from that. Actually, let's let's see. No, this is on three years. I mean, I, I don't want to go too too much too much back there. Um, okay, so now, all right, looking at this, guys. So we know uh, this 90 moving average line uses it as resistance. You can see that clear as day each time it comes across sells off, um, and it does not use 200 moving average line as support. You know, resistance here broke it, um, and broke it with ease on the way down. So I mean, looking at it, okay, so it's at two, it's at 350. So it is at this line right here, guys. Let's see. So maybe there is there is maybe something interesting. All right, you see how you know it taps at one, two, three, and then these resistance, four, five, and then here. So as a as a stock breaks breaks it as resistance, guys, it comes back and now it tries to use it as support. That's what we got. So boom. Now we had maybe a false breakout here moving average line kind of pushed it down uh, sold off now it used it as uh, used it as some sort of you know resistance now it broke through here very similar to this very similar so now I mean yeah we realistically could get a push maybe back up to maybe back up to 16 possibly 17 I mean, this one does look interesting. The only thing that I don't like about it is you see here that I'll show you is you see how this the low, how it made a lower low. You see that the low of the candle, you see how it's below it. So that means um, we possibly have some sort of reversal. So we have this nice up, uptrend, beautiful uptrend. Okay. So, you know, as we come across this, we always got to be cautious of this. So now it's coming, you know, we could possibly get a push down, but hopefully the next day we could get a break above that. That would be a lot more promising. So for this, we're going to set an alert at 14. Um, even if it breaks 14, it could push up to, you know, 1430, then 1450. I'd like I'd love it to get to 15 that would be fantastic making a full dollar on something like this all right so we're gonna create an alert an alert at 14 um, you know just just to see what's happening guys yeah so this is how I create a, a watch list um, using Findes guys and how I scan stocks using Findes. If you guys got any questions, you can uh, drop it in the comments. And Whoops. Sorry, guys. Lost you there for a sec. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please sure to like, subscribe, comment if you are new. Remember to always stay happy, stay positive, and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the weekend. Take care, everyone.